mission of the 142nd Fighter Wing is to provide operational combat power and emergency response for the state and nation. And we do so by developing airmen and, and remaining connected to our community. And one of the most unique aspects is, is we are, again, an operational unit that is an Air National Guard unit. So the bulk of our members are part-time members, but are required to maintain the operational proficiency of an active duty force. So in that regard, we are a great value to the state and nation. The 142nd Ops Group, underneath the OG headquarters, we have five distinct units that cover actually four very different missions. So uh, we have what, the, what I would call the traditional focal point for the Fighter Wings uh, mission, uh, the Fighter Squadron and the OSF, um, uh, Operation Support Flight. We have the 123rd Weather Flight. Traditionally, they're tasked to, do, uh, to support the Army, uh, but those guys deploy and support the range uh, of options in the Air Force weather portfolio and the 125th Special Tactics Squadron. Since 9-11, there's been a high demand for joint terminal attack controllers, uh, so the guys calling in uh, close air support, domestic operations, they've done uh, DOM ops here in Oregon and in the, abroad in the nation. We have uh, the 116th Air Control Squadron. Uh, the Air Control Squadron, large organization out at the coast, the true GSE of the ops group. Uh, those guys, they're busy as well. Uh, they just came back from a deployment last year. They'll deploy again in a couple of years. Theater air control for most of the Middle East. And like everyone else in the post 9-11 world, everyone on the ops is busy deploying, training, and uh, you know, doing their jobs. So it's a, it's a diverse organization, but it's an exciting organization to be a part of. Yeah, well our uh, published mission is to fix fly, fight, and win uh, the nation's warriors here, e either uh, home or abroad, uh, and we act as the nation's citizen airmen. Um, you know, beyond that, we, we are the maintainers of this great F-15 fleet that we have out here, so uh, our main job is to keep those in a safe, reliable flying conditions for our main customer, which is uh, the pilots of the 142nd Fighter Wing. Uh, so there's, there's four main organizations to the maintenance group. You have the maintenance group staff, uh, we also have the maintenance operations flight. They're the folks that are kind of the brain of, of the operation here. Then you have my two big squadrons, which are the aircraft maintenance squadron uh, and the maintenance squadrons. I think we pride ourselves on being uh, a pretty close-knit group. Uh, this operation only works well when we have good teamwork, so that's what we're always striving for to, to try to find the, the peak of efficiency in, in teamwork. The medical group here has multiple missions. Uh, one of the missions is uh, humanitarian missions, which you saw the IRT, where we went to um, Mississippi and was able to help an impoverished population with medical and dental care that was much needed. Um, we saw several thousand people. Um, we also um, participated in Cascadia Rising last year, and that's where we join with the civilian entities. So the medical group actually consists of two squadrons. Uh, one of them is the Surf P squadron, or the Detachment One now as it's known, and the other is the uh, Guard Medical Unit side of the house. The Surf P is our locally deployable unit nationwide uh, to assist in natural disasters, um, and the GMU manages the home station. So if something happens here locally or we need to get people downrange very quickly, that's what we do. So we maintain the medical readiness of all the personnel on base. So the mission support group is made up of five separate squadrons um, and then the group element and they are basically all the mission enabling squadrons that um, for the most part behind the scenes supporting the key mission. The civil engineer squadron is comprised of the fire department, EOD, emergency management, and then the prime beef element. Uh, we've got our defenders, security forces, that do base security, uh, the logistics readiness squadron that has multiple flights to include, you know, distribution, shipping and receiving, um, supply, fuels, vehicle maintenance, and then we have the force support squadron, who has two flights under them: the services flight and the personnel flight, um, and then the comm flight that oversees all the base, you know, network infrastructure as well as radio communications, telephone. Etc. No kidding. Things don't move. Our assets aren't protected. Our people are not paid. If we, if you didn't have the mission support group, none of those things would happen. Sure, the 142nd Fighter Wing headquarters. There's kind of two approaches to it. Uh, first approach is the wing commander sets the the, the mission, the vision, and the vector of which way we're going to go uh, in regards to our mission. And then he or she at the time will detail that out to all the group commanders. We have a staff of 
uh, several people that help support that. We have the Comptroller's Office, we have Public Affairs, we have Safety, the Staff Judge Advocate, the, the legal side of the house, Family Readiness, um, the Director of Psychological Health, they're involved with this. And then to kind of finally wrap that up, it's the Chaplains, um, our Inspector General or the IEG section, and then last is our SARC who oversees the Sexual Assault Response uh, Coordinator side of the house. And what our airmen are doing all over the base are absolutely vital to getting the mission done. And guess what? That is the mission, right? What everybody is doing is the mission. And um, at times, it might be difficult with some of the perhaps more menial tasks that airmen might be dealing with. You know, might be thinking, how does this affect the greater good? Well, I can tell you, collectively, if we all decide not to do those tasks, we're not going to be able to feel that, that operational combat power. In that sense, every airman is vital. It's almost too difficult to talk about without being emotional. I can't tell you how proud I am of our men and women and the work that they do every day. I can't thank them enough. I can't honor them enough for what they do for their state and nation. And for that, I am exceptionally proud to be their wing commander, and I do <laughs> the darndest I can every day uh, to earn that privilege of being the commander of such a fantastic organization like the 142nd Fighter Wing.